Hello kids, welcome to Learner's Planet. Kids, in this session, I'll introduce you to fractions. What are fractions? How they are useful in your day-to-day -day life? And where do you use fractions in your day-to-day -day life? Okay, so let's begin this interesting topic, fraction. Kids, uh, here you can see a very tasty pizza. This whole pizza is for you. Your mama has served. Your mama has prepared this pizza for you. Right? So you are going, going to eat this whole pizza. That is one pizza. One. That means whole. So you are going to eat, eat this whole pizza. Now your friend comes. Okay, and uh, he tells, I also wish to eat pizza. Now what you do? You will have to serve the pizza to him also, isn't it? Otherwise it won't look good. So what you are going to do? You are going to offer pizza to him also. Now how would you offer? What you do? You cut the pizza into two equal parts and one part you give him and one part you keep for yourself. Okay, this is how. Okay, so you cut the pizza like this and one part is for your friend and one part is for you. It is for you and it is for your friend. Now what do you say your friends, say to your friend? that uh, I'll eat half of the pizza, you eat half of the pizza, right? I'll eat half of the pizza and you eat half of the pizza. So this portion is what? Half of the pizza. And this is also half of the pizza. So this portion and this portion is equal, right? This portion and this portion is equal. So this two are equal halves of the whole pizza, right? Equal halves. Now kids, initially you were having one whole pizza, you were to eat one whole pizza, but since your friend has come, you are going to eat only half of the pizza. Half of the pizza you are going to give to your friend, right? So this is half of the pizza, this is also equal half of the pizza, right? So we, what we call out of two pieces, these are two pieces, so out of these two pieces, this is uh, out of two pieces, you are going to eat one and out of two pieces, your friend is going to eat one, right? So we call this portion as half of the portion. What do you say? Half pizza, I will give it to you and half pizza, I will eat, okay? So this is half of the portion and this is half of the portion. So how do we write half? Out of two pieces, these are two pieces, These are from these two pieces, one belongs to you and from these two pieces, one belongs to your friend, right? So half pizza and half pizza, okay? And half pizza you eat and half pizza your friend will eat, okay? So this half is what? It's a fraction. Okay, out of two pieces you are eating one and uh, out of two pieces your friend is eating one, right? So this is actually a fraction, okay? Because there, were, there are two parts and out of this you are eating one part and your friend is eating one part, okay? Now what happens if two more friends come, right? And uh, you have not started eating uh, yet and your two more friends have come. Now what do you do? You have to offer the pizza to them also. Now what you are going to do? Okay, so let's see what you have to do. Now, this was, this complete was your part and this complete was your friend's part. Now what do you say? This is your part. 
okay now what do you say uh, to one of your friend i'll give you half of mine and your friend also say i'll give you half of mine right so these from this part you are giving half to your friend and from this part your friend is giving half to another friend right so this is your part this is your friend's part and out of your part you are giving half to your new friend and this uh, your uh, friend is giving half to your other friend that means now you are having four pieces since you are uh, four persons each is uh, eating one fourth of the part right total four pieces each one is eating one out of the four pieces so that is one fourth we call it as fraction earlier you were eating half because only two persons were there you and your friend now two more friends have come so out of four pieces you need to make four pieces of this pizza out of four pieces everybody is eating one fourth right everybody is eating one piece that means out of four pieces one is being eaten by each person so one fourth you are eating one fourth your friend is eating one fourth your new friend and one fourth your one more new friend okay so everybody is eating one fourth of the portion okay all these four parts are equal so what we have done we divided this pizza among four equal parts four equal parts right so if there are four equal part each part is equal to 1 by 4 right if there are four equal part each part is equal to 1 by 4 okay if there are two parts two equal parts then each part is equal to 1 by 2 as i have told you over here okay now kids as we have done four parts of this pizza similarly we can do eight parts of this pizza okay suppose four more friends come right then what you have to do you have to give the share to them also right so what you have to do you have to make eight parts okay and all the parts should be equal so what you do from here you will cut the pizza like this from here you will cut the pizza like this from here you will cut the pizza like this and from here you will cut the pizza like this okay so i just do it some nicely so i have made the cuts now you can see how many parts are there One, two. I start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight equal parts. Right. So out of eight equal parts, you are eating one of the part. Right. And your friends, every friend is taking one part. Right. So what you are eating, the whole pizza is one. okay and how many parts are there eight parts are there out of eight parts you are eating one part that means you are eating 1/8 of the whole pizza okay your friends are also eating 1/8 of the whole pizza okay so 1/8 is this portion okay this portion is 1/8 okay now what if you are going to eat two pieces so what happens out of eight pieces suppose you are eating two pieces so out of eight you are eating two pieces right so the fraction will be 2 out of 8 or we can say 2 by 8 here we can say 1 by 8 okay and uh, 
you are eating two pieces now what if you are eating three pieces then out of eight you are eating three pieces so what you say i ate three by eight pizza three by eight of the pizza okay and if you eat four then what you say i eat four by eight of pizza four by eight of pizza okay similarly five by eight six by eight seven by eight and eight by eight okay five by eight if you are eating five pieces out of eight six by eight if you are eating six pieces out of eight seven by eight if you are eating seven pieces out of eight and eight by eight that means you are eating eight pieces out of eight pieces that means you are eating whole pizza that means eight by eight is actually one that means whole if this and this is same then we call it as a whole one okay now kids we learned the concept of equal portion now i can this you can see a square over here right i can make equal portion of this square also how would i do that if i draw a line in between so what i am getting two equal portion of this square one this and other this okay so out of two portion we are having two portions so this is one out of two and this is one out of two or we can say one by two or one by two or the third thing is half so this is half of the square this is half of the square right if you fold this square you match this corner to this corner and this corner to this corner you'll be getting this line right so that is equal both the portions are equal so it is half of the square and it is also half of the square right and the other way by which you can make the square half is also there and uh, how would i make four pieces if i draw a vertical line now what i have got four pieces 1 2 3 and 4 right so out of this four pieces this is one piece this is second piece this is third piece and this is fourth piece so there are four pieces of one square so this piece is 1 by 4 this is 1 by 4 this is 1 by 4 this is 1 by 4 4 equal pieces okay there are four equal pieces so each piece is 1/4 we say 1 by 4 or we say 1/4 as we say half in similar manner if there are four pieces then we say 1/4 right so 1/4 1/4 1/4 1/4 four equal pieces okay kids there is also another way to make this uh, square into two equal portion okay so what we can do i draw the line diagonally okay now this and this both the portions are equal so out of two equal parts this is 1 by 2 part and this is 1 by 2 half and this is half right both the portions are equal so this is half of the square and this is half of the square okay now if i wish to make four pieces what i can do i draw line like this now you can see four equal parts i rub this four equal parts right
so this is one fourth this is one fourth this is one fourth and this is one fourth okay so all these are fractions this is one fourth of the total square this is also one fourth of the total square one fourth of whole whole means one one means the complete figure okay now we see a circle here it's whole this is whole we call it as one now two equal part that means each part is one by two if two equal parts are there each part is one by two here three equal parts so each part is one by three okay if two equal parts are there each part is one by two if three equal parts are there each part is one by three if four equal parts are there then each part is one by four right if five equal parts are there each part is one by five so this is one by five one by five one by five one by five and one by five right if there are six equal parts then each part is one by six okay similarly if there are seven equal parts here we can see one two three four five six seven eight eight equal parts right so if there are eight equal parts each part is one by eight okay and here just count how many parts are there start from this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there are ten equal parts so each part is one by ten here let's count i start from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve equal parts that means each part is one by twelve okay isn't it very easy and interesting now i have this hexagon with me now we make equal parts of this hexagon first of all this is a hexagon so this is one whole okay now i draw a line and make two equal parts so this is a line and this is these are two equal parts right so each one is what half so half and then half two equal parts right now what i can do i draw two more lines and make more parts i draw this line and then i draw this line okay now you can see six equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 equal parts 1 upon 6 each part will be 1 upon 6 1 upon 6 1 upon 6 1 upon 6 and 1 upon 6 okay six equal parts this is whole hexagon then we did two parts each part will be 1 by 2 now we have done six parts so each part will be 1 by 6 okay kids i hope you are clear so in the next session we'll learn more about fractions so do revise this session and i'll see you in the next session once again bye bye